maisha magumu sana ni maisha magumu juu mtoto akiamka asubuhi akose chai analia ile kilio hata sijaiona mama anapokuwa na ujauzito matumaini yake ni kumzaa mtoto aliye na afya bila mapungufu yoyote ya kimwili Ulemavu ni hali ambayo wengi wamejipata kwayo na kusalia na maswali yasiyo na majibu. Ulimwengu ukisherekea siku ya watu walio na ulemavu nchini sherehe zilifana katika maeneo mbalimbali. Katika shule ya msingi ya Nile Road ya wanafunzi speciali katika mtaa wa Makadara jijini Nairobi hali haikuwa tofauti. Sherehe hizi ziliwaleta watu mbalimbali pamoja ili kuwatambua walio na ulemavu. Tukizungumza na naibu kamishna wa kaunti ndogo ya Nairobi eneo la Makadara Fred Ndunga alisema kuwa serikali imeweka mikakati ambayo itawafaa walemavu nchini. Ukiangalia majumba yetu karibu yote yako na rams ambapo wale mavu wakija na wheelchairs wanaweza kupita vizuri. Ukiangalia hata zile foot bridges za barabara kubwa kama thika highway, utaona kuna ile sehemu ya ngazi lakini kuna ile sehemu iko na ramp ya kuhakikisha kwamba wale mavu wanapita vizuri. Kuna National Council for Persons with Disabilities, kuna National Fund ambayo pia inashughulikia maslahi ya wale mavu. Walio na ule mavu waliombwa kujisajili katika makundi ili kutambulika na kupata msaada. So, nyinyi watu wa upande huu tujiunge kwa vikundi tureje kwa social development offices ambazo ziko kwa kaunti zetu zote, sub kaunti zetu zote tuweze, ku, tuweze kupata hizo pesa na tuendeleze na vikundi zetu. Walio na afya nzuri wakiendelea kusukuma gurudumu la maisha bila tashwishi wale mavu hawa upitia changamoto ambazo huacha kutengwa na jamii. Self I cannot pay interpreter because it's something uh, the challenge that I mostly have when I want to do any service in government or church or whatever. So the only difficulty is that many interpreters cannot help us pass because of payment. Nikienda kwa kijiji nilimwadikisha kama mara tatu. Nikienda sipati usaidizi, nikienda sipati usaidizi. So hata nikikosa pesa, tuseme ya school fees, mi nakaaga tu saa zigine nakuja, sipati pesa ya kulipa school fees juu niko mwenyewe. Babake alimuata. Wazazi wakipata kuzao toto kigugumizi, hawapati kujua kwamba kuna speech therapist mahali. Sindio? Na pia serekali mzima, I think uh, speech therapist hawako vile. Kwa upande mwingine makanisa yameshuhudiwa kwa kumbatia wale mavu mfano bora ukiwa wa mchungaji George Obonyo ambaye aliweza kuapishwa katika kanisa la PCA Kariobangi kuwa mchungaji na kuwahudumia waumini My name is Reverend George Obonyo I want to thank God I've been ordained today I feel motivated to serve and I know with God everything is possible. I want to thank God and I'm so happy. And may God bless you all. Tukizungumza na baadhi yao walisema kuwa ripoti ya BBI ambayo iliweza kuzinduliwa hivi majuzi haiwafai kwa lolote na wataiunga mkono. Uh, myself I've read the BBI uh, to comparing the person's ability that the law the constitution that we have now also BBI but now in most of BBI we have not seen uh, this uh, BBI that they have included people with disabilities inside, whereby myself I cannot accept that maybe, but BBI is good, but now inclusion people with disability, they have not uh, tried to assess anything there. Isitoshe wale mavu wanaojihusisha na ulanguzi na uzaji wa miadarati walionywa na naibu kamishna wa kaunti ndogo ya Makadara, Fred Ndunga. Naomba wale mavu wasijihusisha na walifu. Tumeona wachache wachache ambao wako kwa wheelchairs wanauza miadharati, wanauza bangi, wanafanya vitu ambavyo havifai. Tumewasii leo wasiendelee na mambo ya aina hiyo. Siku ya wale mavu ikizidi kuadhimishwa kote ulimwenguni, nitakuuliza swali moja tu. Je, unawakumbatia wale ambao ni wale mavu katika jamii yako? Nikiripotia TV47, jina langu ni Joash Onsare.